Yo, the Action Camera CX, the black ones, those things last long. When I need to let this sit, I'll go mess with the edit timeline. That's a nice truck, Pop. Y'all see me ride that Willie? Good morning, Earthlings. Hey, yo, it's beautiful today. The thermometer is reading 68 degrees. We on Broad and Dolphin, yo. And the weather is nice. We needed this yesterday. Let me roll up these windows. Everybody making a lot of noise with the noisy vehicles. Yeah, yo, the weather is popping. We really needed this yesterday. I just figured I'd give you a little update on how those action cameras work. Hey, yo, the action camera CX, the black ones, those things last long. They last a long time. I can estimate probably a good three hours or so of, 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 of capturing footage, and they fill out the SD cards. I had one with a 16, and I had one with a 32, and it gives a good amount of time. The GoPro, on the other hand, I believe because it's used, you know, it was a used GoPro, it's not like it was brand new. That GoPro been dying really, really fast. Uh, the first time I used it, it died in like 35 minutes of recording. Then I think the other two times that I charged it up, I let it sit on standby and I didn't use it immediately. And the next time I went to use it, it was dead. So either that battery is super old and juiced, maybe I should remove it when I'm not using it, or B, that Wi-Fi, the, the side button, because you know how GoPros come with the Wi-Fi button. If that Wi-Fi button accidentally gets touched, it kills it too immediately so yesterday we got probably like a half maybe a half a battery with the gopro the gopro wasn't even on long the gopro probably captured like 35 40 minutes of the trip and the rest of the cameras did the rest of the night um yeah and those active on cx pluses or no the gold oh no the gold actually the gold was 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 worse the gold was probably like an hour and a half the black jones the regular cx jones those drones give me about three, three and a half hours of battery life. The plus, the gold, that gave me about an hour and a half, maybe of battery life, depends. Um, and the screen stays on. With the blacks, I'm able to sleep the screens. With the gold, I can't sleep the screen. Well, I haven't looked into it yet. Maybe I should look in depth and see if that's even possible with the gold. Because sleeping the screen saves battery life. And then, so that's what, three hours on the blacks, hour and a half on the gold, and then the GoPro is giving me like a half an hour, which is sad considering that that's the only name brand camera, you know what I mean? Maybe I need to get some spare GoPro batteries or something. Other than that, I'm driving down Broad Street. I figured I'd whip out the camera while it was authentic in the morning. It is like 7, what, 7.30 right, right now. It's early, it's early in the morning. The sun's up, the sun's bright. As you can see, we on Cecil B. Moore Avenue, Temple University campus, for those of you who are not from the city. Um, and I whipped out the camera because there's been plenty of times where I drove down Broad Street and so much crazy stuff has happened, but I didn't have the camera out. And I always like thought like, man, I should do like a segment called Broad Street Stories because there's always some crazy stuff that go down when I drive down here. I'll tell you about this one time, right? There was this one time where I was driving. People love to cut people off left and right. This is like a NASCAR track. People love to just meow, 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 just to get to the next stoplight, right? So somebody cut me off like they was fighting the whole way they cut me off right right after they dipped in front of me and cut me off there was a school bus <clears throat> that i believe if it wasn't double parked in the center island i think it was going the opposite way i can't recall right now but i know the main detail was no matter of fact the school bus was going with us on the same route i think i was on that lane right there and the school bus was here and the person was trying to cut me off or whatever after they cut me off Guess what happened? Instant karma. The school bus, I guess it was packed with kids. Somebody threw a water bottle right out the window and it landed right on the roof of the car. Blah! Hit it hard. That was the most priceless memory of a lifetime. If I would've had that on a YouTube video, if I would've had like a dash cam or something and somebody would've saw that the whole time, this person angry, frustrated, trying to like swerve by me, trying to pass me. And then the second they pass me, literally seconds, the second day they angrily cut me off, like, you know, flooring it and everything, a freaking bottle comes flying out the window and smacks their car. That was awesome. And then there was another time, I'll tell you one last time before we go to the next scene. There was another time, right, where I remember somebody wanted to like, she was on a rush. It's like she was racing, for real, for real. And I get a kick out of that. So she was out, meow, meow, meow. She was out, meow, 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 just like cutting in front of everybody. When I get to the next light, I pull up next to her. I get out the car and I just get out the car and I'm like in the middle, and I'm like, on your mark, get set, like with my body, and I leave my driver door open, and I'm like, about to like race, like on foot, and she's in her car, and I'm about to race her, and then I go, and then I start running, I run like like seven feet, just, just like, you know, infer, like you're trying to race, and 
it was priceless, yo. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know. Sometimes I do that. I do it to be funny. I do it because I get a kick out of it, guys. And and I guess that's a part of Broad Street stories. And that's only the few occasions that I'm out here on Broad Street. I'm sure there's a bunch of other wacky stuff that happens out here on Broad Street. As you can see, somebody right there was just, you know what I mean? That little CRV just cut homie in front of us off. But it's cool. All right, y'all. Let's enjoy this weather. and guess what I'm up to yeah I just put away editing for a little bit to work on this caliper I figured I'll take off the caliper and put some grease inside the piston I'm using some of this stuff check it out see it I'm using some penetrating grease I figured the penetrating grease will allow the piston to move stress-free as you can see there's a little bit of gunk I'm trying to clean it off as much as I can with some wipes and with some napkins and then I'm gonna lube it back up again I don't want to rob the moisture you know what I mean I want to allow it to have enough grease so it can penetrate but I do want to clean all that debris there's a lot of like it looks like dried chunks of I don't know what I don't know if it's grease buildup but that could be causing a piston to get stuck because it still gets stuck every now and then remember guys I had this sitting for over two years in the rain so you can only imagine but yeah, so I'm in my grease monkey mode. I'm actually multitasking because when I need to let this sit, I'll go mess with the edit timeline. After I mess with the edit timeline, I'll come and I'll mess with this and I'll juggle in between, you know, both. See, check it out. See how I got the piston out some? I clean it up. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray some of this on it. Just so that it can seep on the inside of the grooves. And then I'm also gonna push the piston right back in so that all that lube can get in between the piston. I guess you could probably even take the whole piston out and clean it. But for now, I'm gonna see how this works. You see, that's my point exactly right there. You see all that debris that came up when I pushed the piston in? That means that there's still some gunk in between the piston. I'm gonna try to clean it off as much as I can. I'll probably push the piston out one more time, wipe it down again, and then I'm gonna put everything back together and wish for the best. See, now watch this, guys. I'm gonna press the front brake. And as I press the front brake, you're gonna see the piston come out. You ready? Watch. See it? See it coming out, but I got the C-clamp in there just to be safe. There you go, I got it out to the max. And I'm gonna wipe it down again, you see it? See how more hidden gunk comes from the side? Yeah, that's debris from sitting. All right, I'm gonna let it sit one last time. I'm gonna spray a little bit around here. guys can see the rough house is running better the front brake isn't sticking no more look at I'm pressing the brake and look at see I still rolls before when I would press the front brake it wouldn't roll watch now it rolls look at and it stops it so it's running way better I'm about to go meet up with NR at the skate park real quick.
remember all my tires, you know what I'm saying? Cause my joints is ashy. Check this out. I just picked this up for 250, tire foam. It's not the best stuff. I usually like using the gel, but guess what? It works for this wheel just fine because it fits. Check it out. Let me shake it up. Watch this, watch this. Ew, isn't that fresh? Fresh to death, son. Give some moisturizing, man, man. These tires were ashy as ever, yo. We headed to the trail. We, yo, that's a nice truck. That's a nice truck, Pop. That truck popping. No turn on red. Oops. I'm a Willie this job. Get this job. I just got practice. <laughs> Y'all see me ride that Willie? Y'all gonna see Toon Willie in this job soon. Watch. Toon don't even be practicing though. 